In 1139, a Muslim scholar arrived from North Africa. His name was Abdullah Muhammad al-Idrisi. Roger commissioned him to create one of the most remarkable works of medieval geography. For 15 years, Al-Idrisi questioned sailors and travelers in Sicily's many ports about their knowledge of other parts of the world. The results of his researches are in this book. It's known as the Book of Roger. And it's a combination of 70 maps of the regions of the world combined with a description of the whole known world. The Book of Roger is a powerful testament to the Norman's curiosity and vision. When put together, the 70 maps show their huge geographical knowledge. From the Canary Islands and Spain in the west to India and China in the east. From Britain and Scandinavia in the north to Africa in the south. This was the most accurate map of the medieval world. And it would remain so for the next three centuries. The Book of Roger also collects together everything that was known about the world's geography and culture. And it's truly global in its scope, containing accounts of the caste system of India, rice cultivation in China, and even a not unrecognizable account of England. England is the shape of the head of an ostrich. It is very fertile. Its inhabitants are brave, active, and enterprising. But all is in the grip of perpetual winter. The book is a symbol of the intense cultural ambition of Roger's Sicily. The king himself had copies of these maps engraved on a silver disc weighing 400 kilos. <laughs> 